With the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, searches for an effective vaccine are paramount. A company known as Moderna is testing their mRNA-based vaccine to prevent infection from the SARS-CoV-2 virus. This interesting news triggers an explanation for how mRNA vaccines work and if they truly are more effective than traditional vaccinology. A paper by the name of Amplifying RNA Vaccine Development by Fuller and Berglund discussed this exciting development. I was sent this literature by Dr. Sorby Jane. The paper references a 1990 study demonstrating how injecting nucleic acids such as DNA and RNA into the muscles of mice resulted in the expression of the encoded proteins. Thus, by injecting nucleic acid that codes for pathogen or viral proteins, immunoresponses can be triggered, creating a vaccine. Studies showed that plasmids, which are genetic structures in cells independent of chromosomes, could be used to introduce this nucleic acid and replicate independently in the injected area. Modern technology expands on this and has led to where we are today, with clinical trials being created to develop vaccines for the SARS-CoV-2 virus by using mRNA vaccines. But you may be wondering, how do mRNA vaccines have a benefit over other types of vaccines? How are they more effective than vaccines such as DNA-based ones? One such benefit over DNA vaccines and an advantage of the mRNA vaccines is that, unlike DNA vaccines, mRNA ones do not need to enter the nucleus of cells to start expressing the antigens, which are part of the immune response. In addition, by offering nucleosides, which are essentially nucleotides without a phosphate group, along with modern technology like nanoparticle delivery, the mRNA molecules are stabilized, which increase the cellular uptake and improve the bioavailability of the mRNA throughout the nearby cells. This, in turn, leads to the more antigen production, which are substances that induce immune responses, like proteins. In addition, antibody production will be increased as well, which are the proteins that recognize and bind to antigens. This leads to a more effective vaccine. When the DNA approach is combined with the mRNA approach, a DNA plasmid-based self-amplifying RNA vaccine is created, which harnesses the advantages of both techniques and results in greater levels of antigens, greater levels of antibodies, and creates for a more effective vaccine that is more likely to exhibit an immune response in models than conventional DNA vaccines. Immunogenicity is the ability of a foreign substance, like a type of a protein or an antigen, to create an immunoresponse in the body or in the cells of an organism. So this immunogenicity increased along with the ability to deliver this mRNA with the use of synthetic formulations results in a highly scalable vaccine. Finally, let's go over why nucleic acid vaccines are hopeful and helpful when combating the COVID-19 pandemic. As demonstrated with vaccine trials like Moderna, nucleic acid vaccines have become a major hope for combating the COVID-19 pandemic. Self-amplifying mRNA vaccines, also known as SAMs, are more effective because their host cell transcription system produces target antigens which further stimulate immunity. By producing more antigens in vivo, along with the immunoresponse properties, improves the feasibility of these mRNA vaccines to play a role in limiting the SARS-CoV-2 virus. These mRNA vaccines are helpful the deployment of such vaccines will make the COVID-19 pandemic less of a threat and will allow for medicine to triumph. In conclusion, mRNA vaccines are of high interest due to the self-amplifying properties and the greater trigger of antibodies and antigens in the human body. The resulting effect is an effective vaccine that can be used to combat such diseases and such infections 
like SARS-CoV-2 virus. The Fuller Berglund paper was very interesting to read and talked more about this topic in detail. The link for this article will be in the description of the video. Thank you for watching.